Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. My video title, you know what this video is about. Are the 49ers trading Debo and Brandy Ayuk? And some other topics I have on here as well. I'm gonna get to those later, later go on. But the first topic, of course, are 49ers trading Debo, Samuel, and Brandy Ayuk. We've been seeing this circulating around for quite some time, you know, since the draft. Well, actually a little before the draft, and then around the draft, people thought it was gonna happen that day. And then we've seen it after the draft. And some people said, hey, they might be traded after June 1st. Or one of the, one of the other, other might be traded after June 1st. You know, my team, the Steelers, um, been one of the teams that people have been kind of linking into a little bit. You know, of course, the Bills. Even though the Bills got Ken Coleman, you know, they can never hurt to have another guy like a Debo Samuel or Brandy Ayuk and, you know, other teams as well around the league like Patriots who need that receiver. You know, they, they drafted Jalen Polk, of course, who's a, a nice player, but he's a rookie. So adding another um, more depth around is going to be very good in the long run. So we're going to see what the 49ers do. In my opinion, uh, I don't know why the 49ers are really trading them. I'm just trying to, like, see maybe they, like, they are, it is the like, rumor is true. They actually want to trade and try to get, like, compensation, draft compensation for the future. But I think they'd be kind of, like, in all, like, all, like, in type of mode right now. You know, trying to win everything. Like, all hands on deck. We have Debo. We have Brandon Ayuk. We got Ricky Parasal. George Kittle, we have all these guys. Let's put everything in, all the cards in, and see what happens. And after the offseason, we can just get to it. And some of these guys leave, they leave, but they're trying to find a way to win the Super Bowl right now. So I don't know if 49ers trying to go out there and trade, unless them something like crazy valuable, because most likely they're trying to get draft compensation. So that really not going to help you right now. They're going to help you like in the future. I know you got Brock Purdy still. You have a lot of young talent around, of course, your defense and stuff. But I feel like the 49ers should be in win now mode. They're their favorites to win the Super Bowl as well um, this year, too. So I feel like. If um if they was to trade somebody, if I if I was the GM and I was Mr. Lynch, I probably would trade Debo Samuel fast. I trade Brandon Ayuk. Um, Brandon Ayuk might cost you a little bit more money, of course. You know, maybe twenty million plus. I don't know exactly what the asking price what he's asking for, but it's gonna cost you a little more. But he's twenty five years old. I think Debo Samuel is like twenty nine. I think 28, 29, 29 years old. I'm um, closing on thirty. Had some injury problems the past few seasons. You know, he's a good player. A good player. A nice player. Uh, I think he had an all pro season a few years back. Amazing player, but he kind of had some injury problems a little bit and getting banged up a little bit. Now he did come back to help them in the, in the playoffs, but he's been banged up. So uh, I think the Debo Samuel was to get traded. The 49ers could probably find maybe a second round pick. I don't know if they get, get a first. They might get a first depending on what a first pick is selected. You know, depending on uh, what a team is looking to do like that. If it's a team that's not, if it's a team that's contending, they probably get a first round pick because most likely they'd be picking later in the draft. But I think they probably most likely be getting like a second round pick for Debo Sam if they did trade them. But I think Brandon Ayuk should, you no, know, it's just stick with him. He's a good player. You see his um, numbers every season. He got better and better and better and better. You know, been um, playing phenomenal football on Brandon Ayuk. So I think he'll be a nice addition for them to just keep there. With Ricky Parasal, a guy who I mentioned before on the channel, you know, um, kind of like Jarvis Landry type receiver. Um, he can play outside, can play inside. Very good route runner. Very tough, very shifty and quick. So I think he'd be a nice um, pairing with Brandon Ayuk, of course. So we'll see what the 49ers do. If they, they do trade him, and my Steelers get him, hey, I'm going to be very happy with it. You know, him, George Pickens, or Wilson, that'd be nice. But I don't think we'll probably trade too much. You know, Mr. Combe doing a very good job in, like, finding different guys for our team on a reasonable price and doing the right thing. So I don't think we'll be going out there and giving everything away either, too. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the next topic on here we're discussing is, of course, about the 18-game regular season. They're trying to add 18 games. You know what I mean? Not 18 games, but add another game to make it 18 for the season, which is going to be um, crazy. Now, in my opinion, I feel like 16 was a sweet spot. You know, um, years back when they had 16 um, games, and they also had, of course, you know, the bye week. So, make it like kind of 17 weeks, and then you see, of course, um, six playoff spots. But I think now, of course, a few years back, they added another game. They got 17 games, and now they got seven playoff spots for each side, which it kind of grew up on me a little bit. But overall, I think um, them adding another game, I don't know how this would turn out. You know, as you guys know on this channel, I'm, I'm all for the players. You know, that's why every time a player is trying to get paid their money or something, I'm always for the players. Because you look at some of the owners that run the organizations, they do a terrible job in running it, and they don't get penalized for anything. Let a player go out there and play bad or be injury prone or anything happen, they get released. But, you know, owners can go out there and have losing season after losing season and still get paid the big time money from the sponsorships, the TV deals, and all type of stuff. And then some, some owners be doing some crazy illegal things as well and still don't get any type of trouble. I think Snyder was the one that got voted out, but there's a lot of other guys who are doing stuff too as well. They just didn't get caught. He was just the scapegoat for you know, all the other owners. But that's a story for a different time. But I think 18 game regular season will be all right if they can add these two things. Like two things I had on my list right here, I thought they have to add if they do do this. They gotta be a little, they gotta be less lenient. A lot of players to use different substances um, to like kind of cope with like some pain and stuff as well that happen in their body and stuff. Uh, I'm not a smoker, 
or drinker. I never smoke, never will. Um, but you know, seeing like some players, they use on um, certain like marijuana things to like, go out there and heal their bodies. You know, different things and different substances. I don't know what Aaron Rodgers used, and he, he said go to ayahuasca and do some crazy stuff. He might drink some potion or something, but let them use different um things. You know, different substances to like keep their body healed. Because going out there and playing 18 football games, you know, like, all that punishment. A lot of guys can't even get through. Got dang 14, 15 games. You know, so, so adding more games and more games to the list is going to be very crazy. So I thought like they should allow players to go out there and use different substances and use different things and routines to go out there and heal themselves and like kind of be able to push through and make it through. And they also got to raise more money. You know, you got to raise the money up. So we need to see guaranteed money high up there too. You want to play add another extra game? We need to see some more guaranteed money high up there. You know, like that guaranteed contracts. Contracts that allow you to still get paid if you get injured because you're playing a high more dose of um, you know, more contact. You know, you're playing more games are you um, vulnerable to more injury as well? So you gotta start doing different things like that in a sense. So I don't know if this is gonna happen like next season. They do add the extra game, but they gotta do something. And another thing I think they should add too as well, if they do do the 18 game season, they gotta add a mandatory buy. I know some people say, well, that whole week we had no football, but it'd be okay. You'd be okay, you'll live. You gotta add a mandatory buy. And plus you have college football, it'd probably be still on too as well. Add a mandatory buy um, for that. For like for one week like that so after everybody do their regular buys at a mandatory buy for that one week so like you know everybody just chill out and rest since there's 18 games and then everybody come back and finish like the last maybe 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 do it for the last for the last three or four games something like that just find a way to like implement it a little bit so we'll see what they do i think um mandatory buy let a lot of players to use their substances and certain things like that to um kind of like deal with injuries and of course adding more guaranteed money and more um insured money like too for injured players as well um to their contracts so i feel like that's be some things they got to go out there you know the nflpa is going to be pushing ideas out there different things to protect the players so we'll see exactly what happens now moving on to the last topic the last topic of course is about um the super bowl projections super bowl projections we see of course a lot of teams you know a lot of teams here and it's on like type of like setting of being the favorites it's basically the same teams every year you know you're gonna see the chiefs you're gonna see the 49ers or somebody around that range so right now we got the 49ers first you had a Chiefs second and you had a Lions third so the, the top three teams projected to make the Super Bowl the Lions is a very good team last year did a good job they, they had a, a 20 plus point lead they blew the lead a little bit I think this year the way the NFC is set up and the way the schedule is set up too as well they can easily win I won't say easily because you know it's still tough to play in the NFL you know and there is any given Sunday but I thought like the Lions have a better chance of like getting of course winning the division again and also you know, getting to the NFC Championship game again to the Super Bowl. I don't know when the last time the Lions won back-to-back -back division titles, but I think this could be the year for them. So we'll see what happens. Of course, the Packers still a team that I think might still won from them. And the Bears, you know, Caleb Williams and his new roster, they might do some stuff. You know, we'll see what happens. But And the Vikings, of course, got some nice pieces as well. I think the Lions are still well above in the division. I feel like the Lions are still top two, or maybe the best in their conference, you know, either them or the 49ers. So we're going to see... What happens, of course, the Chiefs and 49ers will always be in this debate. As long as you have number 15 on your roster, you're going to be a um, contender for the Super Bowl every time. Just like Tom Brady when he was with the Patriots or with the Bucks or Aaron Rodgers, you know, different players like that. Certain players in their prime and their peak, when you have them on your roster, you're going to be favored for the Super Bowl every single time. Um, of course, the 49ers is going to be here as well. They've been in the Super Bowl, what, I think two times in the past, but four or five years, it just fell a little short. Been to the NFC Championship game, I think, like four straight years. You know, so they just got to find a way to get over the hump, find a way to win it, and we're going to see what happens um, this season. I'm very pumped up and excited for the season to start. Um, we're in June now. We got July, got August. I think end of August, I'll see some preseason games a little bit. Then, you know, in September, we get there. I think we got like 90 games. I think 90 days left until football season start, or 80 days left. To, we get 88 days left until the football season starts. So we'll see that first game between the Chiefs, the reigning Super Bowl champions, who are back-to-back -back champions, versus the Ravens, the team they beat. Um, in the AFC Championship games, so we'll see um, that big time matchup between those guys. I'm very pumped up inside. You know, I love basketball. Don't get me wrong, basketball about the end too as well. I love the NBA and the WNBA, and you know, I love watching wrestling. Wrestling is very good too as, as well. My favorite things um, to watch. Um, you know, MMA I watch that occasionally here and there. Boxing as well too. I've seen Dante Wilder get knocked out. I think he might be done. You know, this is, this is like fourth. His fourth loss. I think his fourth straight loss, three straight losses. But he been he been fine, he been losing a lot. Uh, I think he might be done, but we're going to see. But nothing, nothing, nothing beats football. Nothing beats football. You know, NFL, I know, I love college football too as well. I'm going to be doing that too as well when it starts. But nothing beats football. Like, you know, professional football. It's just very good to watch. Very exciting to watch and always intense. I was one of the most popular sports um, in, the, in the world like that. Just, it's just very good to watch. So, hey, 
I'm very pumped up. I hope you guys are excited too as well. I hope you guys like this video too. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.